Hello everyone, Shoestring here. What we're going to do this morning is answer the most frequent question I've got over my 5-in-1 video. It's how do you put air into the tire using the 5-in-1 power pack from Harbor Freight. For that, of course, I use the power pack and I use a tire gauge because I don't really trust the air pressure gauge they have on this, so I use my own. All right, so first thing we do, we take the cap off the tire, right? somewhere safe so we don't drop it. If you look at the back, there is a little door right here. Open it up, and in here is the hose to the compressor. Make sure the lever is up when you first put it on the tire. So we take it over here. We put it onto the tire tightly. You'll hear that air sound. That's fine. Drop the lever down. That will seal it. Look to the front again. You'll see we have several buttons over here and knobs, right? What we're looking for is the one that says compressor right here. You have two that look the light compressor and work lights. We're going to do compressor. So once we hit the button, you'll see it and hear the compressor come on. Okay, so what I do, of course, I let it in there for a certain amount of time, then I take my gauge and, my che and I check it until I get the air exactly where I want it to be in my tire. Then, when you're done, lift the lever up, take it out. I always double check and make sure I have the air in there the way I want it to be, how much I want. Right there, nice and happy. Take your hose, wrap it back up, and put it back into the compartment made for it. Important note, after you use this, charge it back up. If not, it's going to die. So, like we said last video, once a month charge this, if you use it or not. But each time after you use it, charge it up. And if I didn't answer all your questions and you had something else you wanted me to discuss, like, do I put the cap back on? Yes. Please put it in the comments and let me know. If you like these videos, subscribe and share. Shoestring out.